What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. Today we have a kiln that's completely full of finished pots. It's very exciting because we have some tests in there for potentially a thousand plus order of mug. I'm potentially working on some samples for a company that's ordering a thousand plus. So they need a hundred by June and then they need like hundred every month after that. So it'd be a very big order. It's very exciting. Uh, they're all orange. I'm not going to say what company it is yet. It would be very interesting. So we have those in there. Plus we have a bunch of pots that are going to be available for sale online on April 3rd in our next restock for the April collection. So, so the company that we're making these mugs for their logo is orange. And so they wanted to see some different orange options. So I think that this one is the front runner so far. So I have a few mugs in there right now that are like this, similar. Um, but anyway, I would be making a bunch of orange mugs if I get this order. So, okay, first things on the top here, I have these Insanity mugs, which if you haven't seen this channel before, uh, this is like one of my favorite things that I do. They're fired an extra time. They're bisque fired once, and then they're glaze fired once, and then I fire them on the last time upside down. And so the way that I do that, I have my kiln post and then I put a little stilt like that and then I balance it upside down like this. And so then the entire pot is glazed, uh, the bottom included, and it's really fun. They typically will sell pretty well. I only make like eight or 10 a month. So it's just like really unique, unique looking. So I have a bunch of those. Ah, dang it, two of them stuck the kiln post stuck to the side and they also yeah shoot 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 so didn't work god i had such a good track record going before that was dumb 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 yeah that so these this one worked out so i'll probably only have like five in this restock turned out sweet oh and this one's uh this is like the worst insanity mug thing. So this one had a little bit of a, it was resting on the kiln shelf. Usually I get most of them all to work out, but this one didn't work out so well. And they all turn out a little differently, like every month. Like this one didn't quite get as many crystals, like you can see the crystals in there. Sometimes there's a bunch in there, which means that this kiln must have not cooled very slow. Anyway, here's a couple of wood fire pieces that I refired just cause there was some ash that hadn't melted on them and turned out really nice. So in this restock, there's a bunch of wood fire pieces, which I don't have those very often either. Ooh, there's some, some Northern Lights goodness right there. It's pretty cool. Turned out good. Here's the Northern Lights with red. So I actually sprayed the red underglaze on for the first time. I've never done that before, but that turned out real good. Another Northern Lights. That turned out so good. Wow. Really nice. Love it. Look at those micro crystals in there. Beautiful. Still, after all these years, one of my favorite things that I do is that that Northern Lights. So got a bunch bunch of blue and red mugs. Ooh, those are nice. And then there's the orange ones, which are the samples. What the heck? A bunch of like. There was like a bunch of glaze that like hop, like was hopping off. That's weird. Little pieces of glaze that like hopped off the mugs in the kiln. I don't know why that happened, but. This is my Northern Lights glaze, but instead of just three dips, what I did is I sprayed um, buttercream around the middle. It's pretty cool, it's super cool. I actually really like it a lot. The transition then is like green to, blue to black. Same glazes as my normal Northern Lights, but just a different application. Wow, I like it. I like it a lot. Still hot. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. The normal Northern Lights. Nice, looks good. Looks really, really good. So this has orange, right? Obviously, on the inside. The Monk Monkey logo. That's just showing the logo. And then Flux sprayed around the middle. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, and then this one is a Mocha Monkey logo that has marbled clay. Not really much white around the base. It's probably gonna be, wow. Okay, all right. 
Huh, interesting. So I'm just, they wanted kind of like orange on the top, white on the bottom with a little blending going on there. So that was what I was trying to do here. Um, all right, all right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, and then we got a bunch of these red on the inside, roar green on the outside. Got like a lot of them. Those are super nice, love that. Love it. And then these blue ones are bright blue with roar green on the outside. Nice. I thought with spring coming, I wanted to do some bright, fun colors. Nice. Nice, nice. So that was a brightly colored shelf. Northern Lights bowls, couple Northern Lights mugs. Bowls, again, I didn't just dip, I sprayed the last layer. So that's why, how you get this differential where it's like green around the rim and then the transition is that bluish. So I like that a lot. I think it looks really good. Sweet, that's super cool. And then it's just greenish on the outside. More of those, nice. Northern Lights, kind of more like a cappuccino or latte cup. All right, and then the last shelf is next. Quite beautiful. Just keeping with the brightly colored spring theme, Went with some bright lime green mugs. That's really nice. Lime, or uh, green opal with Aurora green over top, which I'm pretty sure Mako doesn't even sell that green opal anymore, but I still had some left over. Hot, 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 hot. I need another glove on. Beautiful. All right, and then the other thing that this company asked for was like a marbled orange and black and white. So, we will see. Because if they if they want a thousand plus mugs of this style, I might be in, I might be in a little trouble. Might be a little in over my head, because those take a little more time. But there's the logo. I don't have their logo yet stamped. So this was how I was gonna get them examples is put their logo on the marbled there. So that's that's probably the best one right there. Clear gloss glaze, mocha monkey logo with the orange inside. So we will see. I have to get them those samples on Monday with like the cost and everything. So, ooh, nice, that looks really nice. Kind of a bigger mug, raspberry lift, mist, lavender mist. Oh, this was one more of those marbled with uh, white alabaster on the inside. Okay, a few more of those. Those look really nice. There's certain glazes that I really like on textured things. Like the spiral action and the lavender mist always looks really good. I feel like accentuates it. A couple more roar green over red. So the red on the inside. And then the last two things in here, probably my new, my new favorite glaze is this roar green over lava rock. Love it. That lava rock is nice. It's an oil spot looking glaze. And the last one. Woo, that's what it looks like when you put some crystals in there. I actually like it better with no crystals, I think. Overall, good kill node. Uh, I'm a little bummed about the Insanity mugs. Usually I like that, I mean, usually they all work and they're great, but had three out of the, three out of the seven did not work, so that's a bummer. Uh, very happy with the orange and white. I think that this is gonna be the winner, maybe. I'll see what they think. If they pick that they want the marbled ones, then, I mean, they'll, I'll charge a lot for them, but if that's what they want, we'll see. Otherwise, the Northern Lights all turned out really well. Yeah, super good. Bright colors for spring. So if you wanna check out any of these pots again, they're for sale April 3rd, Sunday, April 3rd. Much appreciate it. Otherwise, I hope you guys are all doing well, and I will see you guys in the next video.